part of the data set. We are looking at the whole data set. Now the issue is we need to find out if you look at two sets of data, for example, here on the first page, of course, this is fictitious. I made it up. Uh, you have the data on percent of felony defendants sentenced to prison from two states. So, how many years we have? 10 years? So we have data for 10 years on two states, state A and state B. Now, when we are using the word dispersion, that means the main issue is, first thing, we have to calculate the mean, because we already did learn how to do it last time. So we calculate the average first, and then the question is, if you look at the mean, then how dispersed the data is around that mean. So dispersion that is the main issue. And so we are talking about this variation from the mean in terms of two things, in terms of variance and in terms of standard deviation. The reason we talk about variance first because when we calculate these, dispersion, we calculate the variance first. And variance is S squared or it's sigma squared. And standard deviation is the square root of variance. So square root of S squared or sigma square. That means it will be S or sigma. So we look at this vari variation, variance first. We calculate the variance first and then we calculate the standard deviation, just a simple square root. So that means, let's say your variance S square comes to 9. So your standard deviation will be square root of 9, which is 3. So that's how we try to calculate how this first your data is around the mean. Everything is, we are comparing with the mean. So if it is like, okay, if it is above the mean or below the mean, how do you know that? When you calculate these values of standard deviation, if you have a negative sign, that will be telling you that is below the mean. If you have a positive sign, that will tell you it is above the mean. No negative means positive. So, what are the things we have here? Okay, by the way, when you look at this handout, right here, look at my, this one, right this part, it says mean deviation. Don't worry about that mean deviation. But for your information, I did discuss it in my notes. So before we do anything else, let's follow these notes. Okay? It's 10 minutes. 